going on, rock stars? It is your girl, the leader of the rock stars, Talia Jeanette. I know this look, it's a little weird. And that's what we're going to get into today. We are going to get into the newest drop from JSC, the Weirdo Mini Palette. If you haven't already, before you get any further, you better stop, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of stuff coming up. But until then, let's get into the Weirdo Palette. All right, you guys, I know y'all are going to rip me a new one in this video, but I had to get this palette. I really, really like once I saw it, I was like, OK, it's not a full size palette. It's a mini. I'm here for it. So we are going to dive into the new weirdo palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I don't know what this look is supposed to be, y'all. So I'm going to let you guys see the palette first. And it's nothing crazy. Like, I was just here for the packaging and that silver right here. And, you know, I'm always down for a good black. So, I feel this. This is what the cremated palette should have been and was supposed to be. So, I'm going to start by priming my lids. I totally walked without a, a white primer, y'all. So, I don't know. Should I do a black base should I do a nude I, I don't know I have no clue what what we're going for um I mean I do want to use this black a little bit so I guess maybe we'll start off with a black base or maybe what I'll do I'll start with a nude base so I'm just going to use my NARS concealer to start from there and then I will put a white base as I go now for those of you who are regular rock stars and you guys know when I'm at hotels doing my meetations or I'm out of the state, unfortunately the lighting in these hotels are horrible and I did not walk with my lights again. I am actually in Pennsylvania for work. My job sent me to help out at another school so here I am. And all my glory so I'm trying to work with this tiny ring light that I do have so we have the nude base down I'm just gonna spread that out just a little bit I'm not gonna do a black I'm not gonna do a black base for the simple fact we want to see what these pigments actually do but I mean if you've been to my channel before or if you own any JSC products you already know that the pigment in the formula just slaps like it, it's already a go so I don't know y'all I know for a fact I might I'm gonna throw some pink on top of this I really wish it would have been some sort of pink in this like this color right here called mohawk it, it's it's a weird pink like it's not a pink that I would have gagged over so this red at the bottom called scene queen and then I'm I'm probably just going to pull a pink from another palette and go from there. So I'm just going to do my inner corners and my, yeah, I think I'm just going to do my inner corners and then probably save the outer corners for a black. So, and I'm actually shocked. Jeffrey has been on it the last few drops. Um... What came out before this? Um, I don't even know what came out before this, y'all. I know it wasn't the, um, it wasn't, uh, something recent. I don't even know, y'all. Like, I'll put it down somewhere right here, um, because I don't really recall. Like, I know the last JSC review I personally did was when Blood Money dropped, and that's, that was probably my last purchase, and that was earlier in the year and that act yeah that was way early in the year this was like january february i think when i brought that and pricked was the last thing he dropped um i actually i still may maybe i won't i don't know yet i may purchase that that particular palette it was a really nice orangey vibe to it but i just at the moment wasn't going to get it and I didn't want to get a mystery box because I feel like the mystery boxes had a lot of, um, 
lipsticks and lip glosses I personally wouldn't have worn. And I didn't really care for the merch in it this go around. So I just wanted the Weirdo palette. And then a lot of the bigger mystery boxes he released already had palettes that I had. So like he was he had cremated palette in one. I feel um it was another palette, but like I have everything that's in the blood collection I have already. So that's why I didn't get a mystery box this go around. So Your girl is officially a graduate um, of GCU. I have my master's finally. And I am done with school, y'all. I am not going back to anybody's classroom ever again. Like, I am so done with just college. So, I'm over it. Alright, so... We have this red down. And no, I will move my camera up at some point, y'all. It's just I don't have my normal setup with me. So I'm like at a weird angle. All right. So that was the color scene queen. And then I think we're just going to put this black right here on the edges. I didn't bring like all my good eyeshadow brushes either. So, ugh. This is going to be iffy. And like I said, y'all know I live for a good matte black. The cremated palette did not live up to what I was personally hoping for a black palette. And Jeffrey makes really good pigmented blacks. Like I, I live for all the black pigments that he makes. Even though he definitely let us down with that cremated one. That cremated palette should have had way more blacks in it. Like, we wanted 50 shades of black and did not get them. But everything... And I haven't wet my brushes or anything. So everything is going on really smooth. And dry, so... Alright, and then I just need to put a little bit more of this red on. Because I went crazy just now with the black and one thing I like about his pigments everything has an um it definitely blends really well but like the colors aren't changing I am probably going to add a little bit of a pink on top of this though okay let's so for the pink, I, I don't have any pinks from JSC, so I'm just going to use my Juvia's Place. Um, this is the Sweet Pinks col collection. Y'all yeah, know I got a love-hate relationship with this palette because it seems like every time I use it, my eyes get wonky, but we're going to take a chance today just for y'all. The risk I take on this channel for y'all. So I'm just going to put that pink in the middle. And not blend it. I'm just going to kind of pack it on and then blend it out. But I'm probably going to blend it out with that brush that had the red on it. And I'll probably have to go back over it with the black. So let's just see how that comes out. And I can bear, like, y'all, I'll tell you, yo, these hotel light ins be so mute and just so, ugh, like, not everybody wants this sexy ambience that these hotels be having. Like, especially when you're on a work trip. Like, I I don't understand why the lighting got to be so sexy in here. But, you know, we live. Okay. So, I'm going to go finish everything else. Like, I'm going to put on mascara, foundation, and hair off camera. And then we'll be back with our final thoughts back final thoughts on the weirdo palette is it a necessity absolutely not it's i mean if you're looking for a nine pan palette with this color scheme sure um it wasn't 
you know, geared towards one color scheme, unfortunately. Like, you couldn't, you couldn't tell if it was a black palette, a red palette, a pink palette. There are palettes, like ColourPop has a, an all red palette. They have an all black palette. They have an all pink palette. Like, if you're looking for a monochromatic theme, I would definitely say go with one of the ColourPop palettes. This, of course, the formula, honestly, you can't really compete with the formula. I did put some glitter on on top of it, and it's in my eyes, and my eyes are burning, y'all, but... I'll post pictures on my Instagram, so you need to go follow me on Instagram. My wig is not cooperating the way it should have, but I, like I said, I'm not home, so I don't have all of my full-fledged stuff, and I did not press this wig. I literally dyed it, dried it, and threw it in my suitcase. The colors came out really good on this wig, though, but that's another story for another day. This palette, like I said, it's not a necessity if one you're not looking i don't even know how much i spent on this the price will be in the description bar i don't even remember how much this was i brought it on beautylish so i'm probably paying it off and then i did get two velvet traps as well this one this is one of my favorite colors from him it's in the color unicorn blood and i will if you you should be following me on instagram anyway but I do have a lot of pictures of me wearing unicorn blood in the liquid lip. So I have that in the liquid lip. I'm not, I don't think I have the lip liner for unicorn blood, but I have like seven ColourPop pencils that can be dupes for the unicorn blood liner. And then this was from the recent collection. And this is in the color Blood of My Enemies. It's also a vampy red. And you guys see the stars that are imprinted in the lipstick like that's that's incredible but i i've recently gotten into my vampy red lip colors lately so that's why i brought this one and then the unicorn blood was just it was a given i'm like okay i'm finally made it in, in a velvet trap so i need to get it um other than that this the color story like i said it it, it gave what it needed to give, but it's not a necessity. Like, I'm, I would not tell you go spend your money on this palette if, you know, the blacks and the, the grays aren't your thing. Like I said, the black is bomb. Like, I, it's very hard to find a good matte black. So everything in here is a matte minus razor blade right here, which is that metallic silvery sh silver. So here's what the colors look like up close. All right, so you guys get that vibe. Again, um, it, like I said, if you've been following me long enough, you have seen my all red um, video for ColourPop. I believe I used, I did an all black video. I'll, they'll be floating somewhere up here. So, yeah, it's not a necessity, folks. Does it work? Absolutely. I feel JSC Cosmetics has probably, if not the best probably top three best formulas of eyeshadows that I've ever used. They blend effort effortlessly. They're smooth. They, they don't come off powdery. The color in the pan is the color on your face, whether you wet the brush or you don't wet the brush. And you guys know I'm not usually a wet brush girl. So if you're looking for something to splurge on, sure. Um, it's a, Is it, you know, top line cosmetics i wouldn't consider jsc a a high-end um cosmetic company at this point but it's not drugstore pharmacy if that makes any sense so it's like it's in that in between because a lot of his stuff is really expensive so thank god for things like afterpay and flex pay and klana and all that good stuff because we live for an afterpay moment now but on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this like a 7.5, 8. And that's just partially my biasness. But yeah, I I wouldn't advise you to go buy this if you don't really need it. If you're looking for it as a collector's item, absolutely. But besides that, it's not a necessity. So that's all for this video. Stay tuned. I do have some more stuff coming up. I'm going to get back to the herbal video, guys. I did not forget about you guys on those tips. Don't worry. Stay tuned and I'll catch you guys in the next one.